Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome. Welcome to the finale of 2023's Project Pan. We have made it all the way till the end of 2023. By the time you're seeing this video, maybe it's Christmas Day because I am kind of just slyly filming. I'm filming it on Christmas Eve. I think I will upload it tomorrow. So Merry Christmas if you guys are celebrating. Obviously, this is Australian time. I think the US, the state time is a day later, like we head into Christmas first. Never mind. Happy holidays, guys. I'm very excited to share my finale with you guys. And I've also done a bit of number summary, like how many that I finish in each category. So for the year of 2023, my project pen is a mix of skincare and makeup. And for skincare, I've got full sizes to travel sizes and a mixture of foils and pulls that including both skincare and makeup and body care, etc. For the next coming year, I will separate my skincare and my makeup project in two different projects. I also have a chopping board sort of going on based on skincare. So I have a few project pan styled videos or idea series going in the year of 2024. I hope I could narrow down my inventory a little bit, knowing exactly what I'm having, having a better control. And I'm also trying to count the actual quantity like how much I've used up rather than just the number of bottles but also the mils the grams etc so I really can control myself of what I purchase in the future and I can sort of like predict how much that I need or I, I'm pretty sure I don't need to purchase anything but I'm hoping to reduce this whole inventory in general so if that sounds like something you would interest don't forget to continue following my channel and then you consider subscribe but without further ado let's just wrap up this year we are starting with photos and pulls like always like this video and consider subscribe <laughs> for my photos and pulls are usually random generated i started with 10 at the start of the year and then as i was going halfway through i feel like i can finish more so i decide to roll in 15 every time Anyway, for the last, since the last update, I've got another 15 foils and pulls and I finished all of them. So let me quickly show you what I've done and a quick review whether I like it or not. We have a couple of um, hair, oh, I only have one hair care product. This is OGX Coconut Water Conditioner. It's okay. I don't think I hate it. I, I like it, but not to the point that I love that I want to repurchase. If you haven't watched my yearly favorite, I do have a shampoo that I really like in the yearly favorite of 2023. So this is definitely not beating to that sort of level, although this is a conditioner. Um, and then I also have an oil by Plunkett's Vita E High Potency Nitro, Natural Vitamin E Quick Dry Oil. I just use it as a body oil. I think it works okay. It also contains rose heap oil and mandarin oil. A good for scars, stretch marks and damaged skin. skin. For a foil sample size, I can only tell it's a nice hydrating one. Not to the point that I want to repurchase. I didn't enjoy the consistency. I think it's a little bit too thick. And then we also got a couple of body care products starting with chlorine. This is actually a baby product. It's a soothing body lotion, I believe. I actually really, really enjoyed this. The texture, the scent is all really good, really nourishing and easy quick absorption. So I'll be looking out to see if whenever it's on purchase for a sale price or need to get some free gift with purchases that's when I'll look out and maybe consider purchasing one of this and then I've also got a really old for your example like I can tell this is old this is the Egyptian magic all-purpose skin cream I just use this as a body cream and I have to say the whole idea of the Egyptian secrets is not really my vibe. So I'm just really glad to use it up. It's okay as a body cream, but yeah, not like cream for the whole face and you know, no. I'm just a nice body moisturizer. Then we're moving into face creams. I've got a couple actually this time. Starting with It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I tend to use it more in the morning to start with and then I was really trying to finish up so I was just using it morning and night. I found actually this is to my surprise good. In my mind I always feel like It Cosmetics is a makeup brand rather than a skincare brand. 
I still not go ahead and purchase this because I think they're pretty expensive than what I like but for the experience and texture I do really enjoy it and I believe I've got a couple of travel sizes which now I can see myself yeah really enjoy using it back in the days I was like oh, I'm just gonna put them aside because I don't know how I feel now yeah I actually yeah they're good then I've also got a Pureto Alt in Calming Gel Cream. This one is good, but I was hoping it would do better because this says it's Alt in Calming. The first thing I think of is like a Vino brand. It's super like heavy in this Alt and is super friendly for sensitive skin. So I use it on a day my face was quite sensitive and it still stings a little bit. It's just not... That it doesn't have the heaviness that I want when my skin's going through sensitivities. I want something nice and thick and it hugs and it doesn't cause irritation. Where this one is more lightweight, that's nothing bad. It does not meet the criteria I want when I was using it, and I still found it was a little bit sense well, just a tiny bit sensitive. So I don't think the name fits what I want when I was looking for a cream like this, but the cream itself is not a bad product, if that makes sense. Another K Beauty, this is the Corxia. It's not Corse and X, it spells like C O X I R. Intensive EGF peptide cream. This is good. I do enjoy this because the ingredients there, they have peptide, they have the EGF. Um, Nothing too special. Um, everything was meeting the standard, but that was just about it. Then I have two creams with SPF, which I was really excited, wanted to use it out. One is the Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30. This one, it's okay. I have another one that I love more from Dermalogica is their anti-aging line. It's actually like a primer, but it's got SPF 30 as well, I believe. Uh, or SPF 20 or 40, I cannot remember now, but I've already got a backup for it, but I still don't remember the SPF. So I kind of use it as a day cream slash a primer or sometimes even like a tinted moisturizer on top of my SPFs. Or if it's a day that I know I'm not going outside, just indoor fuming, and then I'll be using that as my SPF as well. Uh, so I love that one so much that I, I'm looking for something that Dermalogica is so good at beating that one or like, you know, really against it. This is not it. And then the next one is unfortunately all dried out and that is why I wanted to use as many foil samples as possible. This is the Alpha H Essential Skin Perfecting Moisturizer SPF 15. I tried to use it the first day when I opened it and it's completely, it's a bit gross. I'll just show you a little bit of it. It's like drying out. The oils are like completely gone and the cream into like crumbles. I was like, no, can't use it anymore. That is why I can't keep all these fluids and pools. I need to use them. A couple of serums here. I have one from L'Oreal. This is a Pure Retinol Deep Wrinkle Night Serum. I actually really like this. The last time when I tried a L'Oreal Zempel, it was their uh, blackish colored ones. Like It's also like a night repair. I really dislike it. It was really thick and it's sticky as well. But this is much better and it got retinol in it. So if I'm thinking buying another L'Oreal like vitamin A product, I would look a little bit more into this one and really consider to purchase it. A Suasu Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Cream. Oh, this is an actually a face cream. Oh, I love their scent. The ginseng scent is really Chinese herbal and that's really something I've been missing, especially being in Australia for more than 10 years, not going back to China. I really miss all these, anything that cling back to the culture background. This is something I cling to it and that is also why I love anything that gives me a memory flashback. Another one I also have ginseng and snail musun. This is Beauty of Johnson's Revive Serum and this is also really, really good. It says it has 63.36 ginseng blue water, 3% of St. Nielsen. I love it. I know these serums are not something essential if you're going for active ingredients, but if you want something, have a nice moisturization or a natural anti-aging from the plant base, this is really good. So I am actually looking forward to try more from Beauty of Johnson and I've got a couple that I'm about to try for my shopping board of the year of 2024. So very excited. 
Then we actually have a toner here by Esalt, their parsley seed. Why well, I'm saying it like that? Antioxidant facial toner. I've used their serum before. I've used their eye serums before. It's really good. It's just bring back that traditional, you know, signature scent and lightweight, you know, for a toner. It's not stinging, so that's that's good. I've got two masks. One is by Isn't Free. This is a volcano Nick calming pore clay mask. This one also contains AHA, PHA. I actually found this one's really gentle, considering it as a pore minimizing clay mask. Um, not to the point that gentle doesn't mean it doesn't do anything. It actually was really good as a purifying mask, but it's not drying crazy and it's really easy to be spread out onto the face. Some of the clay masks are too thick and takes forever long to dry. This is, feels like a moisturizing mask, but it actually does the pore thing. So I'm really, really impressed. Then the last one on the list is the Avene a uh, hydrating sleeping mask. This is an overnight mask. I've used it for a few days. It's a little bit tacky for overnight mask. Like really, you can tell it's sticky. Like all my hairs, I have to pull it up when I was using it. It does create a, a good hydration to your face overnight, but it's not, it's not outstanding. Like superior to a lot of other ones that I've used and I'm currently using another K-Beauty one that was pretty good as well by Corsair X. So I don't think I want to repurchase because the stickiness is really something I have to work with. With that, that is all the foils and pulls and then again like I said at the start I finished all 15 this time including this for the year of 2023 I have finished 70 for your examples. I know it's not a lot, but it's like a great accomplishment to me that I know I'll be able to use my normal skincare routine and I also try this for your examples. I found something I really like or I'm really disliking, and that is pretty good. Like, I'm really happy, really, really happy. Moving to the next category are my travel sizes. I pick skincare only. I started with five and it's a rolling project style. I have a lot of clay masks that I happen to have in this project pan. One, oh, did I forget to bring that one? Yeah. The one from Antipose, it was a completely brand new one that I still not able to open it, start using it. But I did manage to finish the other travel size, which is the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. So this is completely all gone. I really do enjoy this. It does get a bit more dry and hard to blend, like I was saying earlier, towards the end of it. So something I think you need to put your dedication once you start using it, just have to use it every week so you don't... Like I use this for months to really finish it, so it got a bit dry towards the end. But it does a great job of getting the pores uh, dirt out, minimizing it, and it does do feel like really clean and refreshed afterwards. Um, great product, and I've got a few travel sites to work on, so don't worry, no repurchase yes, then. The next thing um, is a new rolling from last time. It's the Cosmetics Purity Clean Exfoliating Cleanser. I wasn't quite sure this one got any like physical exfoliants within because I don't like that. No, it doesn't. It's all chemical. I didn't finish it, but I'm like here, like right at the bottom of it. If I was really putting focus onto it, I could finish it back today. So I was using it in the bathroom every day and then I f ran out of my travel size cleanser for swimming, so I put it in a swimming bag. As soon as I put it in a swimming bag, I can only use it once a week. And then I, we had a few weeks not swimming because the pool was faulty and then it get into holidays. So the swimming lessons was not going. So I wasn't going swimming usually if it's not for swimming lessons. I don't really enjoy the water, but I know it's something that I need to work on. So I'm forcing myself to go because I pay for all the lessons. Because of that reason, I just always forget to bring this out back to the bathroom, always just keeping my swimming bag. So I haven't finished it. I'm thinking taking this for travel. We're going for travel in January to New Zealand. So I can definitely finish by then. So I'll roll this into 2024 project pen that I'll give you guys an update by the time I finish it. Another one from last time rolling, it was a full size Dr. Levin's 
um, firming eye cream because the travel size that I've got were dried out so I decided just to roll in the full size knowing that I won't finish it but just use it up as much as I could I've used it maybe a dozen times I didn't use a lot because um, I got a few other things that I was working on but I really enjoyed this. this is a jelly texture it feels really nice especially now we're in the summer I actually really enjoying this but like I said, I was working on other things. I think I will keep this just out of the project pan for now. I'll just put it aside, use it on and off. And whenever I finish a couple of other eye cream that I'm focusing on, I'll go back to this one. Hopefully this does not get dried out by the time. I do know that I have to like quickly work on this. And we have 30 grams. It's not like an eye cream with 15 mils that I can work on it quickly. We have a lot of products here. The last one on the list is a day cream by also Antipose, Vanilla Pot Hydrating Day Cream. I use it as a day cream and then I realized it's too thick, especially here we're in summer Australia. I decided to use a night, no, I decided to use it as a neck cream. I really enjoyed it. This is where I was last time and this is where I'm now. Like I should do a marking, but if I just vote it, you can pretty much see I don't have much left. Again, um, my neck was going through some sensitivities. I think I was using a pretty high potency, not really high, like the same serum that I use on my face, but my neck is just for some reason very prone to itchiness. And as soon as I start scratching it, it just go downhill so I have to use something really really calming and this does not calm the sensitivities it's just a nice moisturizing uh, cream so I was using something else which make me stay away from it I will roll this one in for 2024 as well and give you an update by the time I finish it because I was just thinking using it as a neck cream until well winter and I hope I could finish this before winter so it'll just be my neck cream but I do like the cream it's very thick you have dry skin you would love this more uh, for the face as well for the rest of the body and that is all the travel sizes for wrapping up the year of 2023 I have used up 12 travel sizes and all my travel sizes are not mini they're usually 15 mil or 7 mil for night cream so they're a good decent half of the full sizes which means roughly I've used up another six full sizes skincare that I really worked on among with all the other ones that I finished for the year of 2023 oh speaking of that I have a summary of everything I finished of the year 2023 I feel like that video has not uploaded by the time you're seeing this so maybe stay tuned and I'll make sure I put a link down in the description so whenever that video is got available when you click the link you can still watch that video if you're not watching it on the day when I published this. I hope that makes sense. Um, that is a great accomplishment again. And moving into the full size, which are something that I chosen at the start of the year and again a rolling style. The things I have got left are a clay mask to start with. This is the clay mask that I'm rolling at the start of the project pan because I was always hoping to use that one full size of clay mask every year, whether it's a jar in a tube or you know some sort. Um, this year I think I was only able to finish that travel size from Kiehl's and this one, it is more than halfway down. So this is all the tracking lines that I've got. Um, I could make a new line again. I've definitely used it maybe three four times since last update I could make a new line here, but because they've got bubbles things lie like obliquely So I'm not like I don't want it I just feel like if it's completely horizontally to here then I'll make a new line But because it lies like this I don't want to make a line that is crossing it and I don't make a I don't want to make a line That's oblique if that makes sense so this will be another thing rolling into 2024 because I know these ones you can't just leave it and are not using it. It will get dry, especially in a tube. I was really loving it at the start and now as I've used it more and I've used the other ones, this one got literally like seed in it. That is nothing bad, but it's just really hard to when I wash it. And sometimes I use a cloth to wash it off so I don't have to waste a lot of water and the water doesn't run down. It's just mess free. The thing is, once I use the cloth, I have to really wash the cloth very, 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 very carefully because all those little seeds clot into the fi fibers. Nothing bad, but it's just like, oh, 
takes a long time. So sometimes I just want a quick, easy and then go one, which now compared to the Kiehl's definitely winning in that point. But for the results, I think both of these are really good and Isn't Trade is definitely a little bit more affordable in my opinion. And then I have exciting empty, which is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella M Pose. Uh, I have finished every everything off it and this there's a the tiniest bit but I can't get it out. And this is also in my 2023 favorite toner or essence category. So again, that video has a lot more details about it. Really happy putting in my project pan. I'm really happy to use it up. I found I'm really loving it. So project pan is not just something that's been in your collection forever that you have to use it. It's something that you were not paying much attention and you realize actually they're a great, awesome product, just like this one. And the last, ooh, full size, almost drop it. And it's one of these heavy ones, the um, Endota Organics Brightening Eye Oil. I forgot to weigh this. I will put a picture now because I don't know how much is weighing. Uh, let me see if I can find out how much it was weighing last time. I know I put it somewhere. Where is it? I wrote it down. Last time it was 35.61 grams. I was having an average of using up one gram per update. I don't know how much I'm weighing now, so I'll just leave that there and I can see myself when I'm adding in this video. I have to say I wasn't using it as frequent as the previous updates because we're getting to the summer and oils is really not a thing that I want to use during the summer. So I've been using it every now and then during the night time if I feel like my under eye is a bit dry. I kind of, part of me wanting to get rid of it, part of me is like I could push myself to use a little bit more until the next winter. If I couldn't finish it by the winter finish next year, that's when I'm getting rid of it because it still smell good. Mm, so I think I'm gonna keep on rolling into the project pen next year and see how I go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really happy with my full size progress, although I have finished something, but I think I could do better. And as a roundup, I have finished two products in total. One is the serum today, one is a hair care product. I wish I could really do better. I roll in three, I'm hoping I could finish maybe at least three. Um, but yeah, I did put in a lot of things I was really struggling with and that is also why I'm doing Project Pan. And now I can see myself like on the defense of keeping it, such as that eye oil. Maybe just give a couple more ones and see how I feel. And the last category is makeup. I cannot finish any makeup unless it's a concealer or it's an eyebrow pencil, but it will still last me an entire year if it's not more than that. So I've set a makeup usage go of 10 times and a rolling five to start and again a rolling style. All right, <laughs> the five products I've got since last update. Let me bring back my cheat sheet here. Starting with lipsticks, I have two from Lancome. One has been in my project pan for a few updates. This is the Lancome lipstick in the shade 368 Rose. This is their uh, in the cream formula. That's what I was trying to say. Again, it's a very pink rose. If you haven't watched any of my previous, if you have watched it, you've know I've said this many times. Like this is a rose color, it's a pink color that I don't often use, but I do found I'm really enjoying it. But I know I don't want to have too many of these colors in my collection. So when I'm going through my um, lipstick declutter, which will be happening in 2024, I think I'll get rid of a lot of pinks because I just have way too many pinks, and I know I only can cope with a couple. But I did finish. 10 times of usage grows and throughout the 10 times I do really enjoy it but again a color that is not commonly used on an everyday basis. The other lipstick is the Lancome is also in their cream formula 132. This is a very beautiful red that I'll probably use it tomorrow and the day after in the Christmas time. I have used six times since I roll it in so four times short so this is a product that I'll roll in for the year of 2024 and let you guys know what's a heat 10 times usage because I do think for the holiday season that's coming up I could have a couple more 
usage so I could stretch myself to finish that 10 time usage go. Then we have, let me see, a lip liner that I was pairing with the rose color lipstick from Lancome. This is the Essence lip liner in the shade 50 Honey Berry. I have used two times, maybe one more extra time than last update or maybe not. I have come to conclusion that I want to declutter this. Like, done and dusted. I have so many lip liners and this is, like I said, the lipstick is already a shade that I don't use often enough. And this lip liner is not my favorite formula. My favorite formula is actually the Huda Beauty lip liner, the lip contour. I, I bought a couple of their 2.0 ones recently. I haven't tried the 2.0 before, but I had their original one and it was really good. Um, you see these in my 2024 first day shopping haul because they came late when I was received this. I already finished doing my 2023 last shopping haul. But yeah, so I'm just long story short, I don't need it in my collections so of they're gone. And then I roll in last time the Lana Lips Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Perfect Nude. I have used it four times. I think I'll roll into 2024 project for this one as well. I used to really, really love it. Now I'm just like, it's okay. So I really should use a lot more of it when I was really, really loving it. When I was loving something so much, I hold on to it, I don't use. And now like, I don't even feel like I want to use it as often as I should. Ugh. So 10 time usage go, and then I'll have a decision whether to just use it as a lip care, so getting out of my makeup collection, or actually declutter, so it will be gone. So that is an unsure thing. Then the last one is the one I'm having on my face, which is this True Blend Liquid Makeup Foundation by CoverGirl. I've gone in the shade of Warm Beige, which is my biggest fear because I feel like this is too dark. I have used it two times, including today. I do really like the finish. Let me just have another look while I'm saying this. The overall look of this one is not bad and I have this hair in front of me the whole time. God dang it. Um, it has just a light coverage, I would say. I would not like to build this up too much because of the shade. I don't know if you guys can see in front of the camera. Do you think my face color is darker than my neck? Because when I first put it on, it's the perfect match that I want. And by the time I finish makeup, because I was playing with my eyes a little bit, I found it's much darker now with the light that I've got. Maybe it's looking okay, but I feel like in real life, it's a, a smidge darker and that is a common issue that I found with CoverGirl. The finish of the product is really good. The only thing they couldn't do is to keep this anti, not anti, keep this oxidization thing going. Like it's always oxidized. It always oxidized a shade, half a shade, two shades darker. Some of the ones that I used to love that I had to get rid of because halfway throughout the day, my makeup looks horrible. But if you compare it to how it started, it's a perfect shade match. It, you can't, and it's because it's taking time to oxidize, you can't choose a light shade to start off your day. Like you have to wear this and hide yourself until the shade matches and then to walk, go outside, that doesn't work. So I'm gonna try a couple more times and have a look again when I'm adding this videos, see how I'm gonna go with this foundation because it might be a declutter, but if I think it's workable, I'm not gonna roll into the 2024 project pen because I've got a couple of makeup that I'm working on, but I'll just put it back into my collection. Speaking of which, for the year of 2023, I have finished 12 makeup usage goes. That is pretty good because that is 120 times of using different makeups. Considering how often that I actually apply makeup, and that gives me energy. My video got cut off. That was loud because the camera was too hot. Don't know why it was too hot. I was rounding up everything that I used up in 2023 in the makeup category. And I said there are 120 usage because I finished 12 usage goals. I was really, really impressed by that. I don't think I'll do any better. I hope I could, but I don't like I did not see this before coming. And now I'm looking at it. I'm still really well by myself. And that wraps up for the year of 2023's uh, Project Pen Finale. A couple of things we're going to roll into the year of 2024. Uh, four things actually. The two makeup lippies and one travel size skincare, one full size that 
eye oil, oh, actually five, and then the clay mask as well. So you see this again in my 2024 skincare intro as a quick mention, and then you get them updated throughout the 2024 skincare project plan as well. I don't know if I'm repeating myself. I feel like it. Oh, actually one more. <laughs> this neck cream as well. So six. All right, I'm totally repeating myself now. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and consider subscribing. Leave your comment down below. How do you think I've gone through the year of 2023 in terms of my project pen progress? And were you doing it or were you unofficially trying to pan something and how's your progress? How do you found of doing this? What's your biggest challenge? What's your biggest achievement? To me, the challenge is definitely the things that I have to repeatedly like a multiple item like the clay mask as well as something i'll struggle to use an eye oil or like a 30 gram eye cream um but i would like to know your thoughts down below i love the discussion down i know i keep repeating seeing some familiar names i really appreciate you guys always leave a comment because i sometimes go to my favorite youtuber i'm not too shy to leave a comment i'm trying to be good at it i want to interact because as a content creator this is what i'm after but as an audience sometimes I just stay quiet but i'll make sure i always give a like to the video because i know at least that's something that i could do so if you guys could do the same i'll be really appreciated but no pressure whatsoever i hope you have a great holidays with friends and families enjoy the upcoming public holidays as well as like new years if you're in australia january has a lot of um free days because we have australian days as well the first half year i found we have a lot of day also getting excited and hopefully the weather is a bit better queensland has a big floods going on victoria here is windy every day like it blew me away if i'm like really light as a slim super slim person i think i don't need a transport i just calculate the right direction and i can just get a free ride because of the wind is so strong but that's too much ramble i hope you guys uh stay safe and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next video bye i am very excited to share with